Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and download Adaptive Theme and get going by installing the Adaptive Base Theme into our project. This is going to be a quick one, so let's get going right now. So to get started, we're going to want to go ahead and download Adaptive Theme from Drupal.org. So I'm going to include this link in the description of the video. You can grab it from there, or you can head to Drupal.org slash project slash Adaptive Theme. So from here, I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to grab the latest in this tar.gz and I'm going to unzip it here. Now to install this theme, all you simply have to do is head over to your sites and then all and then themes folder. Now we can just go ahead and drop this adaptive theme into our site. Okay, now let's head to our Drupal site and with the default navigation, let's come to appearance. And then from appearance, we can go ahead and select uh, one of these disabled themes here. Now, as you can see, there's three themes. We're gonna go over the admin theme in another video. Uh, the at core theme, the adaptive core theme, you can see is the framework that drives the responsive layout system. So basically it says, you don't need to enable this theme to use it because you're gonna be developing on a sub theme. Now what's great about adaptive theme is that it comes with a sub theme ready to go for you. So it says to copy this sub theme to get started. So if you have you ever used something like Omega where you had some sort of a tool that was generating a sub theme, this is really nice uh, because you can just go ahead and copy this theme to get started. So just like that, we have this theme installed. If you wanna take a look at what comes with just the blank sub theme, what we can do is go ahead and enable and let's go ahead and click set to default on the AT sub theme. Now let's head over to the front end of our project. I'm just gonna open this up in a new tab. And as you can see, it's completely blank. So that really allows uh, for total customization and it doesn't necessarily wanna get in the way with anything. Cool, so we now have adaptive theme installed and we're ready to get going. In the next video, we're gonna show you how you can create your sub theme and then we're going to make some style tweaks and then we're gonna start exploring a little bit of what comes with adaptive theme and why you would be interested in using it. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, Comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.